Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the Transformer Legacy United G1 Triple Changer Sandstorm. Yes, he's been out. Uh, I've seen him uh, coming out in a couple of stores here locally in Montreal. There's two stores that has all the line of Sandstorm, uh, Silverboat, uh, Shard, the uh, sort of like a, a rocky green helicopter, and the uh, I think it's a leader or Voyager class Starscream, uh, the uh, Cybertron version, and the five pack Autobots. Uh, now, I've got only uh, the Sandstorm and Silverboat. I'm not a fan of the rock vehicle, so I didn't take it, and I never really liked the Starscream Cybertronian mode. So I didn't take it, but he looks pretty awesome, so I'm really torn on getting it. But <laughs> my main focus was Sandstorm, because I am a huge fan of Triple Changers. So there you go, I got that one. So yeah, we got the box right here. And on the side, we have the nice depiction. I cannot wait for Magmatron. Oh. In the back, we have the Triple Mode. So we have Sandstorm Robot Mode, Buggy, Helicopter, 3-in-1, 19 steps for Vehicle, and 32 for Helicopter? Uh, that's a little bit much, but uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> so let's stop wasting time with the box and see what's inside. So, we got the figure, nothing else in here. So, got this. Let's put him on the side right now, remove this. So, in the toilet paper, we used to have the weapon, but you know, I, I put him on the robot. We have instructions with our huge there <laughs> it's kind of like a poster thing but yeah instructions are okay and uh, nothing too uh, crazy about it but they work so I was able to transform because uh, I haven't uh, had any trouble he's not that complicated but on the other side we have uh, the buggy mode so robot to buggy and on um, the other side is the buggy to helicopter so there you go so uh, and we have Sandstorm, and yeah, I really love this. Finally, we get a triple changer Autobot. We've got all the Decepticon, Octane, uh, Blitzwing, Astro Train. Now we need the Autobots, so we have <sighs> Sandstorm. Now we need a Springer, but we only had the good Springer with the Generation Classic. Now we need a Broadway, and Broadway Titan Return wasn't, eh, wasn't that great, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm really happy with this one. It looks really good. The robot mode is amazing. Uh, we have, first off, we uh, were accessories. We have a weapon. We have his blaster gun here. So it's just molded plastic black. Nothing much to it. You can pick it either on the side for the arms, on the wrists. Uh, does he have stuff? Uh, yeah, he got stuff on a, he got a, you know, place for storage in the back. We also have this tiny pistol. Uh, kind of cute, all molded gray, nothing to it. Again, you can plug it in the wrist and the chest is unpegged. That's one thing that I don't like much about the robot mode. The chest unpegged is really easy. And finally, we have, yeah, again, even though they plug in securely, they peg off really easy, like the, the whole chest. So yeah, finally we have the cage and the, uh, I guess it's a pulley wrench or uh, I'm not too sure what it's called, but there you go, we have a little cage, we can pull, and it's kind of tight, so the, you know, the, the, the rope won't spin by itself, so that's cool, I like this, and you can remove it like this also, so we got that, and the cage can also separate, but this is for transformation for later on, so, yeah, there's no storage in robot mode really, so you can just, I don't know, peg this in the back maybe, and store it like this, and... Eh, there's no storage, real storage, in robot mode, so he, he's got to hold it in his hand, so, yeah. But yeah, the robot mode looks amazing. Let's remove the weapons, just for now. Also, when you get the uh, sandstorm in the box, uh, the tail fin is not pegged in. Can I remove it? Yeah, there you go. So this is loose in the box, so just got tail fin tip. And yeah, it's really hard to put back in, so yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. There you go. So yeah, it's really tight. And you have this mechanism. This is for transformation, but those like are like ratchety, kind of. And they are scary tight. So be really careful when you play with this. 
But uh, yeah, Sandstorm robot mode looks amazing. I love the face sculpt. We have the lines on the face. The head can rotate, but it's kind of tight, and there's like lots of kibble that you know blocks you from turning the head. So yeah, and spoiler alert: there's no engine block in the back of the head. So that's yeah, that's a little disappointing, but yeah. So there you go. We got the head. The arms are only swivel like this, swivel like that. We have rotation at the bicep, rotation at the bicep. We got double jointed elbow that goes like this. And like this, we have the wrist rotation, it's really tight. And again, the chest just loves to unpeg, that's my main concern. But uh, yeah, nothing at the waist. The leg can go forward like this, can go back like this, can do the split like this. We have rotation at the upper thigh. The knee bends 90 degrees like this. The ankles can tilt on the side like this, can, well, go like this, I guess. They don't go up too much, so there's that. Back cleans up fairly nice. We do have some sort of uh, hollow legs. It's not really hollow, it's just like the panels are like super wide here, so they don't look too good. It makes you feel that the legs are hollow, but they're not. It's just a panel too long here. Back here looks pretty nice. We do have the uh, rotor blades, the wheels on the side. So it's not that bad. I really dig this. I love the robot mode. They did really something great with it. So yeah, let's do a comparison real quick with uh, others. So here we have Sandstorm with the comparison of the other Sandstorm that I have. So we have the Unique Toys, we have the Mecha Fans Toys, and we have the G1. So yeah, you can see it's very reminiscent. I love how they all look together. I'm only missing the Generation Classic, but I didn't really like the Generation Classic back then because it has like a more of a VTOL helicopter rather than the uh, big sausage helicopter looking one. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't really like it back then so I didn't have it. But yeah, I got those and they really look amazing together. So yeah, and I love how... Uh, let's just remove the third party ones. But yeah, I really love how they look like very similar with the G1. So we have even the details on the legs and the wheels on the back here, the tail fin. So yeah, it looks very reminiscent to the G1 and I really dig this. So yeah, let's move on with the transformation into uh, vehicle mode. Yep. Just before transformation, uh, first remove all the weapon. But just before uh, moving on to the transformation, I'm going to show the uh, legs right here with the wheels. In the instruction, the wheels are uh, down like this. They are plugged onto the heels like this. And, you know, kind of looks okay. I kind of prefer them with the wheels up. So we just rotate this. And you have like sort of like the peg here. It doesn't like hold super much, but it does peg into the hole right here. So you can plug them like this. I kind of think this looks better-ish, but I've also seen uh, they are rotated, like in the, uh, uh, I think it was in the uh, preview when the uh, Asbro uh, released them, uh, showed them like this, you have to rotate this, and then the wheel sort of like is angled up like this, kind of like, like that, so you have to, if you rotate this, it won't work, you see it way, way angled up like this. So if you rotate this around, bring this down, and this, rotate this, it looks a little bit better. But it's still, uh, I don't know, I kind of like it like this. Well, you have to rotate this. You, you rotate it because, you know, you have like this peg right here. This peg needs to go in the back, and then this will peg into the hole like this. So make sure this goes like you have the peg right here. Make sure it goes in the back, rotate this, and this will sort of plug. So, I don't know. It's just a, a taste difference. So, yeah. Alright, so for transformation now. You want to bring the arms up like this. And again, this chest just uh, really annoys me that it doesn't peg. Like you can see, like these two tabs on the side, they plug in. But, you know, you can see it sticks out a bit. So, yeah. Yeah, like these. Sort of like this, this, you know, you have like a peg right here that seems like it goes like this in here, but it doesn't for some reason, so, okay, this goes in better, but alright, so, <laughs> I think I figured it out, but 
All right, so yeah, the arms straight up. You want to bring this down. Now we just breaked off. But yeah, you want to bring the arms like this and rotate the wrist inside and make sure it's like flat. Because when you close it, it needs to snap back in. So like this, rotate, make sure it's flat like this. Oops. So we got that now. Next up, you'll have the, uh, it's, I forgot to do it earlier, but er, you have the elbow joint like this. So if you bring it like this, if you lift this up, bend it so that it snaps first and then bring it down and then you squeeze it in like this. So make sure, same thing here, so it's already done, but like this and make sure this just goes in like this. So you have arms like this. Next up, uh, let's work on the legs. Uh, feet like this, close the heels like this, bring the feet up like this, and now you want to push like you have a slider here, so just push the leg in and until it snaps. There you go. Nothing here, snaps, bring the legs together, peg them in, so we have that now. Bring the wheels out, rotate it, and tab on the side right here, like this. There's a tiny orange wheel here, but you can't do with it anything with it. It's pegged into place and it doesn't move at all. It looks like it can be rotated, but it doesn't. So, yeah. Then you have this panel here. You flip it up, out, and you leave it like that. So, same thing here. Flip this, rotate, plug it into the side, and bring this out. And the legs just unplug themselves. There you go. <laughs> All right, chest, break it down. Make sure you have like this window. You can close it, bring it more down like this. Take the head, pull it out like this. Take the head, bring it down like this and bring the uh, engine block in. And you have like these two tabs, like the two spikes here. They will peg into here, so make sure it taps in perfectly. There you go, tabs in. Now you have the windshield. Again, you open it up like this and you bring this all the way in the front and you have like these two big tabs underneath the windshield that will tab onto the knee pads there you go like this so we have that next up you bring the arms down like this well the connector here bring it down and this tab right here on the tip of the uh, wrist will go onto the panel right here like this so flip this down like this bring this in Tap it in. There you go. We got that now. So we have all this. Bring this up like this. You have the tail fin here. You need to separate it and make a uh, sort of like a spoiler. And be really careful with that. It feels really flimsy, but there you go. And next we have the accessories. So the pistol can go underneath the arm. Like such. Like this. The big gun, you can plug it on uh well not here but you have the cage you take the floor off and the cage with the uh, sort of like a pin right here goes on the back so bring this here and this will slide on top here and kind of like a grab onto this side so all the six legs doesn't peg just these two right here so we got that then you can plug the cannon on top here the plate here you need to see there's like two tabs on each side here this will go to the front and if you want you can have like the sort of like Cybertronian design here so this goes here in the front of the car and in between the wheels there's a tab and there's a peg hole here that will fit in here so put in here and you may want to tab in there you go it tabs perfectly in here bring this up and the wrench uh, the, the winch uh, where did I put this oh yeah the winch goes inside the engine block so roll the uh, the rope in like such and then you want to plug this in and then you put the cage back in and voila we have the doom buggy mode all done and it's the weakest link to me like it 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 does roll but you can see like the whole vehicle kind of looks like wonky like it, it's supposed to be like that, but it goes like this. It's it's not that bad, but it just doesn't look too good either. <laughs> I wish we could put the wheels a little bit down, like if you could rotate them like a little bit more, but you can't. You, it, they they are hindered with this panel here, so the car does have 
like that look. It's not that great. I'm I'm not like it's definitely the weakest link. All like triple changer only always have like that super uh, weak link and that, that's the one. It doesn't feel right. It feels like this should be extended back a bit. Like you can see this. Like all of that part should be like extended a little bit up. Would have been look uh, looking better. Uh, this, I guess, it could be like this. No, it doesn't. You really need to open this up. Now it rolls. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the doesn't look too good from underneath. Doesn't look good from the side. Top uh, does kinda ish look like a doom buggy. Uh, I forgot to mention, but the tires are in hard rubber, so that's really cool. All four of them, so that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, vehicle mode. <laughs> Not the greatest in my opinion, but yeah, it's a nice effort. <laughs> so yeah, there's no other gimmick, it's just that, so yeah. So let's move on with the, uh, oh wait, uh, let's do a comparison first. So there we have all my Sandstorm in vehicle mode, and yeah, definitely Sandstorm's uh, Doom Buggy mode is by far the worst of all of his modes. So we have the unique toys here that looks like the Hoskemeyer Wiener Whip Mobile. We have the uh, Legacy version here, we have the G1, and we have the Mega Fan Toys, and they kind of look similar, so yeah, it's not the greatest. I do appreciate that we have the engine block of the G1 here, but we don't have with this one, so yeah. But then again, the G1 still looks better for a Doom Buggy than this thing. <laughs> and the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile is just... Oh my god, I forgot how painful it was to transform the thing. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. So let's move on the transformation to the helicopter mode. Transformation into helicopter. So first remove accessories all of them Pistol gun wench whatever cage and the plate here eventually <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, let's start. Let's start. Let's start with the tail fin. So bring it up like this uh, Unplug the arms Bring them up clip it back in like this Let's remove the plate here. There you go. So we got that. Uh, next up, uh, you want to bring uh, the wheels. Like flip these panel up first, and flip the wheels up. And you want to bring these wheels down, but you want to also flip them up like this, and sort of like uh, angle them like this. And the other one will go at the bottom, so like this. So we have that. It's kind of weird. It doesn't really fit too much. It's not beautiful. But that's that. Let's try maybe like this. So yeah, it looks a little bit better because it's angled up like this. But yeah, that's that's what we want. Alright, next up. Uh, uh the blah, 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 where we go. The head. Unplug it. Oh, really hard. <laughs> You want to bring this down like this, bring the head pretty much in robot mode. Like this, bring this back up. Uh, next up, let's go to the back here, flip this down. You want to unplug this, unplug that, flip these up, like such, and bring the chest down like this for now. Bring these back down, and as you bring them back down, you have like this part right here. You need to rotate and be careful; they are incredibly tight. So rotate this, this, and bring this down. So yeah, just make sure the head is like. Uh, if I turn back this ear. The head goes like this and really like squish down as much as possible, and then the chest will need to like a uh, collapse in here as much as possible also you need you need to push uh, the window down so collapse this here and when you bring the arms down they will peg on the side of the black panels right here on the legs like this so you have that done so take this rotate it here make sure this goes here rotate this here plug it in make sure this tabs in perfectly so we got that now next up you bring this down you want to unplug all of the 
uh, blades. Rot lift this up, rotate them all the way around. Lift this up, this, bring this all the way around. Lift this back up, flip this on the other side like this, clip it in. These will clap in and then you uh, plug this everything in, in the feet and the side of the legs like this. Everything is fine, perfect. There we go. And finally just spread the uh, plate. So, there we go. There we go, there we go. And we're pretty much done. So if you want storage, you have uh, the big gun, you can put it on the side. You have the pistol, you can put also on the side. This, the cage, uh, we just plug the cage back in. Like this, like this, this one didn't went in. So we have that. Plug the tap, uh, the black tip into the cage. And then you can uh, just pull a little bit of this. Plug this back in, it's, it's not like super like tight so mindful of that and the uh, winch gear thing you can plug it just right here in the face well underneath the face so there we go we have sandstorm in helicopter mode and yeah he looks really amazing I really dig this helicopter mode I love the helicopter it's really cool I wish we had like the, the tail fin on the side here kind of like uh, the original I mean, like that kind of looks okay, I guess. But, you know, the G1 had like the side wing here, not the pointy tail. But, yeah, I like it like that. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks beautiful. Uh, we do have the wheels here. And we have the tiny wheels. So, if you want to land, you have to remove the uh, wrench thing. And uh, There you go. So, it does land, it does roll. So, these wheel at the front and the tiny orange wheel makes it roll. There you go. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just beautiful, nicely painted. My only grab is the uh, blades because they, they don't need a lot. So they, they do spin perfectly, but you know, it, they are not, not super solid, you know? There you go. So it's just kind of weird. It's just disappointing. You feel they, they clip to the, uh, together like like this. They, they are clipped in. You, you feel they like snap, but yeah, there you go. It doesn't take a lot of force to just break them apart. So, it's really disappointing. But that's pretty much it. The helicopter is pretty damn good. Underneath, not that great. Uh, we do have the big wheels here that kind of, you know, they don't peg. So, the wheels can't move. So, that's, you know, not that great. But, again, it's not that, it's not that bad. It's definitely the strongest of the two vehicles. Uh, we do have the sort of like a side windows here that doesn't look too good but yeah I really dig this helicopter mode I love these sort of like a big giant orange sausage kind of looking helicopter so <laughs> feels weird to mention like that but it totally is I really dig this helicopter mode uh, let's do a comparison with the other ones here we have all the helicopter modes from Sandstorm that I have so we have the unique toys the new Legacy, the G1, and the uh, Mega Fans toys. So yeah, they are all really good. I love that big orange sausage helicopter. <laughs> it's yeah, sorry, but it is what it is. It's a big orange uh, a helicopter that looks like a sausage. But I really dig this. I love that helicopter mode. So we have the unique toys right here. Again, it's such a pain to transform that thing. I'm yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you can see the size comparison. So, yeah, this is a third party masterpiece esque. So, yeah. And then we have the G1, very reminiscent. I love this. We even have the wheels. So, yeah, looks cool. We have even the sort of like uh, lines that are white here in the back, and these are kind of like metallic looking. So, that's cool. And we have the Make a Fan Stories. Again, the fat helicopter mode. Really dig this. So, yeah, really cool. I highly recommend for me. Sandstorm is pretty awesome. I uh, also, uh, yeah, don't miss my uh, next video is gonna be uh, the uh, Beast Wars uh, Silver Boat. So, yeah, uh, I don't have anything else to say. It's an awesome line. I love this uh, legacy so far. I've really been knocking uh, 
the figures off the park. They're awesome. So yeah, I recommend for me. I got this from a CMD store. Uh, if you want to look at it for this, but uh, they all sold out in hours. They 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 were all. Uh, they, there's two stores in Montreal that are, they were all available, and within one hour, sold out completely. All the places. So yeah, be on the lookout on your store. Perhaps they will come in really soon. But yeah, high recommend Sandstorm Legacy. Awesome figure. So that's pretty much it for me. You know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah. I right, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.